Hello, my name is Art Small. I'm a solution architect at Edgewater Fullscope, and today we will be presenting on the topic for Dynamics 365 video series around the customer portals. Let's go ahead and look at today's scenarios. We're going to be looking at CRM for Portal, and we'll go ahead and start off by actually logging into the portal as a customer who visits the website, and she has a problem that she needs to find some solution for. She's going to go ahead and utilize the knowledge base where she's searching for solutions and in conjunction with uh, submitting a case. And then ultimately she will decide that uh, she needs to submit that case. We'll then go ahead and switch over to CRM where we will go ahead and do some internal work on the case, examining it, filling in certain details, also making replies to the customer. And we'll go ahead and do some administrative functions such as creating or updating the portal information for the user. We'll go ahead and, last but not least, return to the case after we have performed the internal updates and see the results. Keep in mind that this is just one scenario for a customer portal. There's many other different scenarios, such as a partner portal, where you will share leads and opportunities and collaborate on those records with your external partners. Our different demo personas for today will be John, who is the customer service representative who's working inside of CRM. And we have Debbie, who actually has the issue. She'll be creating the case and accessing the knowledge base. So let's go ahead and get on in for, into the demonstration. So you can see here I'm logged in to Contoso, which is our customer self-service portal. We're logged in as Debbie Williams, which you can see in the top right-hand corner of the page. And you've got quite a few different navigational options, such as uh, looking at the knowledge base directly, going ahead and, and submitting a customer service support request, and or looking at existing requests. And you can see some popular different knowledge base articles that are already present. And of course, this portal, along with CRM, is fully configurable to meet your needs from a picture standpoint, from a layout standpoint, etc. In addition to the options that you see above, we can always go to Debbie Williams' profile if she wishes to update any of her own personal information, change her password, change her email, etc. This would also be the location where if you were working in a partner portal, you would be able to have the option to be able to extend access to some of your subordinate employees who work for the partner. Let's go ahead and go over to our support area, whereby we can initiate the case and access the knowledge base at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate, as Debbie, a new case. And we'll see as we're filling in the subject that we will automatically have a search to the knowledge base. So let's go ahead, damage to my, my software. And just by entering in this title, it's going ahead and searching the knowledge base. And it's retrieving any articles that uh, might be a match. I can always open these up as Debbie and check to see, well, maybe this is a match for what I need. If it's not a match, you can always proceed to fill in the rest of the case. So maybe this is a problem that I'd like to submit. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in the subject and any details I wish to share. I can always go ahead and add any attachments. And then last but not least, I'll go ahead and submit the case. Meanwhile, in CRM, John is monitoring the incoming active cases, and he goes ahead and updates and sees that a new case has been submitted, and I do see the damage to my software. It's coming from Debbie Williams, and so John will go ahead and take a look at this. Now, of course, dynamic CRM case uh, capabilities being somewhat the same over the last different iterations, you can always use the various business process flows to be able to get suggestions on what I need to work on next can always fill in information about um, this person, such as um, any information around the origin of this. Do I need to escalate it? Do I have a service level agreement? I could go ahead and initiate new activities, such as tasks that need to be worked on, etc. And then ultimately, I will get to the point where perhaps I need to go ahead and reply to Debbie. I could always update the description which is one way to be able to send information back over to the portal. Another way to, would be to initiate a new portal comment. So perhaps I've utilized my knowledge base, perhaps I've gotten additional information, and I want to go ahead and record 
uh, what my info is for Debbie. And I can always go ahead and save that and perhaps enter in a note which might include an attachment. So let's go ahead and pull in a customer document and attach that here. That way we can send that information over to Debbie. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and then mark this as complete, which initiates the reply back over to the portal website. Other things that I can do as a CRM user is I could actually pull up Debbie's record as a contact and see about additional changes that I need to make. For example, if Debbie had said that she had forgotten her password, we can always go ahead and change the password for her. If she needed to invite another person in her family or we wish to go ahead and create an invitation to an additional user, we can see that. We can also see what kind of role that um, we have extended to Debbie. We've extended to her that she is an authenticated user and is able to use the website. And last but not least, we can see her login information. Returning back over the portal, we can go ahead and refresh where we'll see the updates to the case that have come in from John in the CRM system. So by opening up the case, it goes ahead and I can see, of course, the update to the description that I had initiated, and I can see the reply that I had initiated as John over to Debbie, including the attachment. So I want to go ahead and thank you for your time watching this webinar. We hope it's giving you some good information around what you can use a portal for, for customer service. And as always, please tune in to any of our additional webinars around our D365 updated experience. And as always, feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you very much.